we will discuss how the compute cost is charged in terms of a credit value and how can you calculate the dollar cost of your workload and is it really possible to calculate the dollar cost of your workload in Snowflake. The Snowflake does not display the dollar value on its warehouse monitoring screen at the warehouse level. Instead, all the metrics are represented in terms of credit value. The smallest virtual warehouse in Snowflake is referred as extra small. Why? The largest one is 6x large. Snowflake uses t-shirt size style for naming its warehouses. 5x and 6x large warehouses are not available in all the cloud and all the region. That's why 5x large and 6x large are shown in a different color. If you run your virtual warehouse continuously for an hour, an extra small compute, which uses only one node, will cost you $2. A small virtual warehouse utilizing a two node cluster will cost you $4. And if you start a 6x large virtual warehouse that uses 512 nodes cluster, running it for an hour will cost you $1,024. And if you run the same compute for a minute or 60 seconds, here is a pricing chart. Extra small with one node cluster will cost you $0.03. The small compute with two node cluster goes to $0.06. And 6x large 512 node cluster will cost you $17.06 for 60 seconds. Now let's go to Snowflake pricing portal to see how the cost changes when you select different region and different edition. So this is my Snowflake pricing page. And here I can select my cloud provider and the region. So right now it, it is AWS US East Northern Virginia and price per Snowflake credit for standard is $2, for enterprise is $3 and for business critical $4. So if you're running your workload, whether it is serving any query or not, if Snowflake compute is up, the standard edition will cost you $2 followed by enterprise edition will cost you $3 and business critical will cost you $4. Now let me change this cloud provider and see how price changes. So now I am going to use AWS EU London. Now for this particular selection, my standard price goes from $2 to 2.70. Enterprises remain $4 and my business critical goes to $5.40. Likewise, now let's go and choose Azure Australia East Sydney. So this is my selection. So my cloud provider is Azure, where my Snowflake is hosted, and the region is Australia East Sydney. So the standard price goes to so $2.75. My enterprise edition price goes to $4.05, and my business critical goes to $5.50. If I come to my admin menu and this warehouse screen, where I can see all my warehouses are listed, let me click on this load warehouse, which is currently suspended. Here, I would not be able to see any cost related item. This is only showing what time my virtual warehouse is active and what time it is not active. Click on this cost management. Here, it will show you how much money I have spent. And this is my compute price per credit. For the enterprise edition of Snowflake, the cost per credit is $3 for an extra small virtual warehouse. And it goes up to $1,536 per hour for a 6x large virtual warehouse. If you pay close attention, this represents a direct 50% increase in the cost. Therefore, if you are not utilizing any enterprise features in Snowflake, you need to be very, very cautious of this price increase as your development, testing, and production cost would go up to 50%. Likewise, for a business critical edition of Snowflake, the cost per credit is $4 for an extra small virtual warehouse and goes up to $2,048 per hour for 6x large virtual warehouse. This represents a direct 100% increase in cost compared to the standard edition of Snowflake. Again, if you are not utilizing any business critical feature in Snowflake, you need to be very careful of this price increase as your development activity, testing activity, and everything running in a production environment cost could go up to 100%. I hope you got something valuable from this video. If you did, please hit the like button. Thanks for watching.